In the last section, we built an authentication system from scratch. In this section, we'll take a look at authorization. We'll see how to protect the home page, the sign up page, and the login page. More specifically, in the first video, we'll tackle the problem of why users can visit pages even if they aren't logged in, and why they can still see the sign up page after they are logged in. We implemented a sign up page, a login page, and logout functionality. For the sign up page, if all the fields are valid, the system saves a new record to the database and starts a new session. For the login page, if all the fields are valid, the system checks if the username and password match the ones in the database, and if so, starts a new session. The logout functionality pops the session. In this section, we'll see how to let users access only parts of the application relevant to them. This is called authorization, and that's what we'll talk about in this video. The authentication system we built lets us register and identify people who use the site. While it works, it has two major flaws. Let's take a look at the first flaw. Cool, so let me log out of the app completely. All right, I'm totally logged out now. But if I type slash home into the address bar, I can still access this page. The problem here is that we're currently allowing anyone to access pages that require a login. What we want instead is only for users that are logged in to access this protected page. If a user is not logged in, he should be redirected to that login page and enter his credentials in that form. So that's the first flaw. The second flaw, let me log into the app again. And I get redirected to slash home as expected. The problem here is that now when I go back to the sign up page, I can still see this form. Same is true for the login form, I can still see it. We're currently allowing signed in users to see the authentication forms. This doesn't make sense either. What we want is only for users that are logged out to see these forms. If a user is logged in, he should be forwarded to the home page. So those are the two flaws in the authentication system right now. Let's solve the first one in the next video.